What's up guys? It's Parnas. Welcome back to my channel. So I have my hood on because as some of you know, I shaved my head a couple weeks ago. If you haven't seen that video, go check it out. But this is a little reveal. Ooh, so it's getting pretty long, honestly. You can see that like it's finally filling in the little gaps and everything. Um, to answer some questions about the psoriasis, no, it hasn't gotten better. Um, I'm kind of trying a bunch of different things. Um, I have a friend who's a doctor and he's told me a bunch of different things so I could try. Um, and it's like taking fish oils, taking vitamin D pills, not taking them, switching between those. I have a medicated shampoo that I'm trying out. We're just trying out a bunch of different things. But today I was thinking we could do something pretty fun that I've never done. I wanted to do a get ready with me. Girl, let's have fun today. Um, I shaved off half my eyebrow, so I've already filled it in um, because I'm stupid. And so yeah, now we're just gonna do my everyday makeup look. It's nothing crazy. I'm not a makeup artist. Y'all know I say it every time. I'm not a professional. So whatever I'm saying, it is my own experiences and you don't have to follow it. But yeah, let's get into it. Okay, so usually first and foremost, I start with my eyebrows, but I already did them because I accidentally shaved off half. If I'm feeling ballsy enough, I'll insert a picture right here. Okay, so we have eyebrows down. So some people are gonna judge me. I know this, I understand. I don't like to use foundation. I used to fucking glob on the foundation, but honey, no more, no more. I'm going to be looking in several directions because I actually have like one, two, three, four, five, five mirrors in front of me. So um, you're going to see me looking pretty weird, but this using my Tarte Shape Tape in light sand and then I just, you know, do that usual ish. I actually don't put on a lot because with this one, a little goes a long way. I always end up looking super ridiculous every time. Okay, so that's how we start. And then I'm gonna take my little egg, just pat that in. So yeah, basically we're on the second month of quarantine. I was going crazy. And I'm still going crazy, but you know, it'd be like that sometimes. Okay, so when this doesn't blend like it's not right now, then I have to go to option B, which is using a brush you're gonna hear me rustling around because honestly this was just a last minute video I didn't actually plan anything have this stick it's a fit me shine free balance maybelline new york whatever and that's in porcelain because i want it to be lighter than my skin tone i'll usually just go on my top or my forehead that's what it's called and then blend that out too Okay, so now that we're all one shade, definitely a couple shades lighter, but one shade nonetheless, um, then I'm going in with a contour. So this is our contour brush. And then I have this massive bronzer that I use. It's from Icing. I don't know if you all remember that store. 
this is definitely super old and you should be changing out your makeup every now and then but like lord knows that we don't have money for that in quarantine you know? <laughs> so as you can see just these little like lines i kind of try to put it like right in there and then buff it out because i don't like harsh lines at all I do this thing sometimes where it's kind of like a three. Like, I'll be like going in my forehead and then going down, down here, and then down there. So it kind of has that like three shape. And then, I don't know. I just, I saw it somewhere and I thought that it was a cool method because you can kind of see the difference. So here it's like my forehead is a little bit like more cut, you know? I'm doing a little, doing its thing. I don't know what I'm talking about, y'all. <laughs> I'm just, you know, having a nice time. It's been a while since I made a YouTube video, and I had a bunch of stuff planned that I had ordered in the mail a long time ago, and it hasn't came. Um, I ordered a bunch of wigs though, and I'm just waiting on those to come. And once they do, I'm gonna drop a wig video. Um. So now that we're done with that, we will be taking our fluffy brush, which is this one to just kind of get rid of the harsh lines because I don't really like it to be over the top. But yeah, so I'll be dropping a wig video and then we had a Miss A package that we ordered online too and that hasn't come yet either. Um, I understand that shipping and stuff must be like really crazy right now. Um, so that's totally fine with me but those will be coming soon okay so now that we're done with bronzer then I like to go in with good old rouge I like to call it rouge actually I've been calling it rouge a lot more lately because um I don't know I just find that it's cute like you can be like oh blush but you know rouge you know so kind of do it on the cheeks and then see it looks super harsh right now and i totally know like i see it trust but we'll be taking that fluffy brush again and then i actually do this thing that i saw online as like you just put a little bit on your nose and you get this cute little like oh my gosh rosy effect you know but it like brings a little bit color back in, so that's why I really like doing that. Um, okay, so we're done with that. Oh, and that is the, I think this is Tarte? Is it, I don't know, girl. Yeah, Tarte, uh, the pineapple collection. So, now that we have that on, a different fluffy brush, and you just kind of get rid of some of that too. I totally forgot I didn't do nose contour and like I'm trying to look snatched so back in with bronzer and this is this is usually a concealer brush I know like this probably looks so dumb but I'm gonna use it because I need something that has a little bit more of a finer tip so that I'm not getting it everywhere but just kind of go in there I definitely need to look in the mirror for this one, I'm sorry. I don't know how makeup artists always can just like not look in the mirror. Girl, not me. Okay, see? Kind of like smack myself in the eye there. I don't know if y'all just saw that. But. So that looks harsh and it actually looks disgusting if we're being honest. But now, bloody brush. I'm gonna take it out. Thank goodness for blending, because honestly, otherwise, it's just like gross all the time. Okay, so see, now it looks snatched, but like 
not a question, right? some of the product because girl I actually ended up eating a lot. Okay. So we're good there. Okay, we're good. So people love highlight nowadays. Not me. It's like okay, I don't use highlight. I don't use foundation. I don't know. It's just not my thing. Everyone has that thing that they like. Like okay, I have this um, collab virtual glow highlight kit. Sometimes I do like to take a little bit of this shade here and go in just a bit on like the tip of my nose. You know, like that's cute, right? Like that. But then other than that, like even that is a little bit hard for me. It's just like a cute little thing. And then sometimes under the brow bone too. I'll do that. Nothing crazy. Oh, see, yeah, she's glowing. Okay. I can live with that. That's cute. Okay. So, we've done our highlight, contour, whatever. And next, we're going in with our Too Faced White Peach. Girl, this is the palette of all palettes. The formula, the colors. Oh, ooh, it's like, it's like butter. I don't know if you've ever had a palette where it's like perfect sensation. Like when you dip it in, it doesn't do any, ooh, this is the one. If you want a good one, this is it. Oh, you can see all my mirrors, right? There I am. Okay, so this shade right here, I love. I use all the time. I haven't hit pan yet because I only got this like not long ago. But oh my god. I don't know y'all see that, but it's like butter. Like literally it goes on so nicely. And I'm a neutral kind of person. I don't love going with the crazy colors. Like Sometimes if I'm like playing around with makeup, I'll go like crazy colors, but otherwise I just like pinks, browns, mostly like that. But this kind of gives a little bit of fun because it like, it has other shades in it. Like it's like, there's a little bit of a yellow tint to it, which is really nice. Oh my gosh, yes honey. Okay, y'all see that? Ooh. That is so cute. I love that color. And it kind of like brings me back with the shades I'm in. Okay, it does kind of flake a little bit, but that's just because I really like big in there. Yes. Hello, color. You like to see it. Honestly, it smells like peach too. Like it's actually so nice. Okay, so the next shade I'm gonna go into is this shade is called Peach Smoothie. The other one, by the way, is called Glistening Peach. Okay, so now I'm gonna go to Peach Smoothie because it's a little bit of a lighter shade. And then pack it on the lid. That's another thing too. I use like two brushes when I'm putting on eyeshadow. I know some people use like four for all the different creases and whatever, but not me. Usually next I'll do, so I use this Scandal Eyes Rimmel London eyeshadow stick crayon, whatever. I usually use black, but they ran out of black the last time I went. So I have this like dark gray color you can kind of see. Um, and I just kind of bring it along the line like that. You can see, it made a little difference, right? Let's make 
really weird things and stuff when I put anything on my hair. It's more of a crayon because like, I don't know how girls get those like tight lines. I make it fairly thick, honestly, sometimes because right after. Okay, so see, right after, I'll just like smudge it so that it kind of like blends a little bit. Not a makeup artist. You're gonna see all my weird faces, so now you can see it's like blended in. And then now we're going to use Pure Anata Natural Mascara. This. This is a plug of all mascaras. The formula is good. The wand is small, so it's good for control. Like, that's what I like. I don't like a thick wand. I like that it kind of curves a bit because it can go with your lashes. lashes whatever and then to even make it better I go in with old trusty and just give my lashes a quick You're asking, do you wear lipstick? No girl, no lipstick. We don't do lipstick in here. We don't, we barely do highlight in here. We don't do foundation, none of that. So now we're done with the makeup. It's a very basic look. Y'all can see, not much to it. Like she's cute, but like, she's not like going on the red carpet. No just having a good day, you know? So now, y'all saw the brown wig in my last video, but this time we have a black wig that I haven't put in the video, but I had it since the last one. Um, and I actually find that this one suits my hair more. So I kind of fixed the hairline because it was kind of, um, ugly and so I'm just gonna slap this baby on and let's see so, do a little flip and then I pull it like lower than where my hair is like I pull it here and then I bring it down this has like a full cap so it has the lace inside and everything like it's not a lace front wig but then I just pull it up so that my hair that is growing gets out of the way. I always used to tuck my hair behind my ears, so I'm, I always do that. And then just kind of flatten out the hairs that are underneath there. And see how it kind of like transitions a little bit nicer. So, okay, whatever. We're liking it. So this is the wig on. As you can see, she's like pretty shiny, right? So it's like, I take this, uh, it's a Tresemme, basic care, no visible residue. It's a dry shampoo, okay? And then, so I just take the dry shampoo and I just kind of... See? We got all the fumes going in the air. Love that. But you can see it's a little bit more like 
hair like. It's cute. So now to end off our look somewhere behind, oh, right here is our Morphe setting spray. We're just gonna lock it all in place. Yes, honey. Have you, okay, if you have not tried a setting mist, you have to because it feels so nice on your skin. Yes, lock it all in place. Okay, so now we have our outfit on little flower shirt with this little hood and that's it that's our get ready with me it's gonna be a fairly short video today but that's all right so thank you for sticking around for this cute look um and like subscribe comment and i will see you guys in the next one